All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. This is the Accra 2023 Africa Games. And I will welcome to the Central Region of Ghana. Tonight, it promises to be a KG encounter. It is Nigeria versus Senegal in the women's football competition in the ongoing African Games. This is the last match. Uh, the group is still open, so as ready as we are. Yeah, I'd be before we did it. All right, so welcome to the Cape Coast Post Stadium. This is the Accra 2023 African Games, the 13th edition, and tonight it is Senegal versus Nigeria, who are playing at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium, and um, Senegal wearing all white jersey. Then also Nigeria sporting the all uh, green jersey, and tonight he promises to be a great game by our standard and. Um, Game currently underway, and this is the skipper of Nigeria moving. Says a long one, and the ball traverses the touchline. There is a trail in favor of Nigeria. And that was Victoria Ezekiel without effort. Trail quickly affected. This is Nigeria. Ulana says a long one. Still Nigerian possession of the ball. It is a trail in favor of Senegal. At the left side of defense. Rahel Izigri from Dia Congo. Be assisted by Alice Umetisi from Rwanda and then Tenko from Cameroon. Nigeria moving. And the has been cleared by Senegal. Skipper of Nigeria is going to affect this one, Oluchi. Uh, Oluchi sends a long one. Oluchi stays in possession of the ball. Finds a colleague in the process, but unfortunately, the ball rolls over the touchline, and so it's going to be a throw in favor of.
Nigeria happy to keep possession just around the center circle. Daga finds player number seven, Sadiq Mohammed. Sadiq Mohammed failing to take his opening on the Sudanese winning a free kick in the process. The Sudanese player, player number three, Atiki Abiaza, was clearly fouled. And then infringement in favor of the Sudanese. There's a second round of games in a men's football competition. The Sudanese are trying to play a through ball. Player number 10, Jawamara, was hoping to latch onto that through ball. But it's a bit too much on the pace of the ball. And it appeared that the player was in an offside position. But that would not have counted. The ref, the assistant ref's flag going up right away. We're almost 15 into the first 45 minutes. No goal to Nigeria. No goal to South Sudan. South Sudan trying to ward off any threat from the Super Eagles. A game that Nigeria will be expected to win. But I'm sure the South Sudanese would have a lot to say about this. Ball gifted away. Can South Sudan take advantage of this? Good strike. But well saved. Player number nine for South Sudan. Ngong Garang. Almost giving the Sudanese a lead there. But the finishing a bit poor. Goalkeeper Nathaniel Ikechuku to the rescue. But Nigeria would look to break. And that's a free kick right at the edge of the penalty box in favor of Nigeria. A free kick in favor of the Super Eagles just outside the penalty box. It was uh, player number seven, Sadiq Mohammed Isayaka. But he's been headed away and cleared to touch. The Sudanese enjoying an elementary spell of momentum. Oh. Starts up. That should be a foul. And the ref rightly whistles for a foul in favor of the Nigerians. That was a poor challenge. We've done just about 30 minutes of action as Nigeria looked to take advantage of this possession. But the Sudanese have regrouped. That should be a foul in favor of the team in white, South Sudan. The referee deeming the challenge to be a bit physical. I thought Sandy Joseph could have hit the ball first time there. And this clearly delayed the cross coming in and allowing South Sudan to recover in the process. So a moment of timeout to allow for the players to consume some fluids. It's quite hot in Accra these days. So after 30 minutes, the players get an opportunity to take some fluids. Nigeria will be hoping to get a result in this one. But they know they've got to put in the works and get a result against South Sudan. We get to enjoy some replays in the past 30 minutes as a coach of the Nigerian side tries to pass on some instructions to his players. Coach Boso Insa Ladam. The South Sudanese coach Felix Komoyongi also passing on some instructions to his players. South Sudan, the youngest state on the African continent. 
hoping to grow in the game. Not too long ago, all of these players may possibly have featured for Sudan. But now we do have Sudan and we do have South Sudan. No goal to Nigeria. No goal to the South Sudanese side. Both the teams have had opportunities to have at least taking the lead in this game. But squandering all the opportunities that have come their way. The South Sudanese side quickly making their way to the top from player number 20. But that goes out of touch for a goal kick in favor of South Sudan. Suleimani Ibrahim Idris striking the ball from distance there but way out of touch goalkeeper Godwell Simon Sabiu organizing his players before probably launching one long one up the pitch A long one into the Nigerian territory, but clearly Sunday Joseph was in an offside position. They've got to be watching the lines. Both teams guilty of straying into the offside position a number of occasions. Still no goal to either side. Nigeria looking to build from the back. Ibrahim Musa Abdullahi on the left hand side of the Nigerian team. This could be the first goal for Nigeria. And again, option to go with the wrong decision. He should have hit the ball first time. Just hit that ball first time. I'm not too sure why he wanted to take on. He could have hit the ball here. And from that distance, Sunday Joseph could have easily scored the first goal for the Nigerians. Well defended by the Sudanese. The goalkeeper to the rescue. But Nigeria looking to create another chance again. It appears they are going all out in the second 45 minutes and hope to get a goal. An early goal, of course, to unsettle their opponents. Nigeria looking to build from wide areas. The cross would come in. Skipper Daniel Kolochu looking to be a bit too clever there. They've got to try and do the simple things and not complicate things. Just do the simple things and not complicate things. Trying to be too intricate every time they do have possession of the ball. That will not lead to goals. They've got to do the simple things when they find themselves in the attacking third. If they would want to take on everyone and walk the ball into the net, that may just not happen. And we've seen the situation one too many in so many games where a team that keeps on squandering the opportunities that come their way are punished at some point in a game. Nigeria would hope that South Sudan do not get to punish them at some points. Bayemi backing out some instructions to his colleagues. If there is any weak spot in this Nigerian side, it is the goalkeeper. He's not demonstrated enough confidence in post for the Eagles, Nathaniel Ikechuku. He's not demonstrated a lot of confidence at all. There's 11 corners in this game. Corner kick number 7 to South Sudan, but goes all the way to goalkeeper Nathaniel Ikechuku, who launches a long one forward. But that was a foul. That was a foul. 
by player number seven, Sadiq Mohammed Isayaka. On player number three for South Sudan. End to end action at this point. We've done 50 minutes of action, still no goal to Sudan, no goal to Nigeria. Both teams going for it now. But of course they would have to be very careful anytime they mount an attack. They've got to be extremely careful anytime they mount an attack. Because they could leave gaps at the back which could be exploited by their opponents. And that's what you would want to avoid when you go on the offense. South Sudan looking to build the winner free kick after player number 13 has brought down Lumuma Brown behind the ball would he score and he does and he does and he goes